In this video, we're going to be talking about temp tables, uh, T-SQL, but then also uh, the, the terms if exists, and then also drop table. Now, you may know what drop table is. You may or may not have seen if exists, but as an example, if I was to go ahead and run this code right now, it'll work no problem. Uh, this, and by the way, this is a hard table. This is a real table. Notice that there's no hash marks in front of this. When I run this, what happens? It creates a table, we do a select into, and then we select it and we're good. But if we try to run this again, see how it breaks because it says that there's already a table now? And you know, if we go into our Acme database and look at the tables, there's our table, Ricardo. Yes, that's it, Ricardo, that we just created. So let's just say for the sake of argument, you're going to have to be running this code multiple times from the same window. You might be looping through it. What you could do at this point, since it's already in existence, you can drop it each time you iterate through, and then you can do this, you know, for the rest of your life or until you get bored. Um, what's different though is, let's say that this table did not exist. Whoops. We're deleting it. Okay. Glad to not know you anymore. So basically, um, Ricardo has left the building, no longer with us, not on the team anymore. I could easily put this drop table Ricardo after the two, the select into and then the select from, and then it would work fine. But the fact that I'm putting it beforehand means that the first time that I run it, I'll get an error. It says, cannot drop the table Ricardo, you dope, because it doesn't exist or you don't have permissions. It's because it didn't exist. But if you notice, it still ran these two, because if we go in here and look, da da da, there it is. So it does get an error. It, this, in this case, it wasn't critical, but more often than not, what will happen is a customer will see that in their you know, user interface somewhere. They'll get on the phone, they'll call you. Hopefully, it's not the weekend. So anyway, how do we get, out of, how do we get around that? Well, see, now it works every time. But if this table did not exist, the way that you would get rid of that is instead of saying drop table, you would run these two lines, one is a continuation of the other. It really, it could actually, it would be better to put it like this for demonstrating, whoops, for demonstrative purposes. Uh, I just like seeing caps. You know, I think um, I'm OCD. And let's go ahead and indent that for you. Basically, if you're saying if exists, it's like, you know, is this yes, you know, if, like, this is basically an if statement, if, and then this, then do this. What this is saying, this may look a little cryptic, it's saying select one or select anything. If exists is different than true, false, or is it zero or higher, which is really true, false. Um, it's saying if a record gets returned. I'm going to the sys object table where you can see a reference to a table. If Ricardo exists, it'll be there if you look at X type where it's U for user table. The fact that I'm saying select one, or I could say, you know, select cat or Florida or Albuquerque, it doesn't matter. It's just, it doesn't, it just, it did records come back or no? So what's, what's beautiful about this, now, did we get rid of Ricardo? Okay, Ricardo is still dead. Okay, let me know if there's a change. What this does, is it only drops the table if it's already there. So it's a little more logic than just saying drop table. So I can do this whether the table exists or not, and we're happy campers. Now, and that's even if you don't like camping. All that being said, the same information is true when you're working with temp tables. Because even though temp tables are temporary, and they don't live forever, you know, they, um, they can persist for a while as long as the connection that created them is still alive. And in this case, believe it or not, the connection is not SQL Server, me being in here and having fun. The connection is this query window. Once I close this, Junior goes away. No ifs, ands, ors, or buts. He can't plead for his life. There's no plea bargaining. There's no bribes. Well, maybe I'll take a bribe. Okay, so anyway, same thing here. I do a select into, and, I do, you know, and then I do select star. And the first time, boom, I have results. The second time, airbags go off. Can't do it. If, instead, I wanted to run this code, see, it would work all the time. But you see, we can't really drop it. Let me get rid of this. Cannot drop the table, Ricardo. 
Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. Let me put a hash mark in front of that. It was referencing the hard table. Okay, here we go. Now, what this is doing is it's dropping the Ricardo table all the time. Um, but let's say that this was already dropped. Okay. And if we run this now, see now this has a conniption because even though this table was living in the temp database over here, um, it was still, you know, this command is kind of raw and it's assuming that there really is a table called Ricardo. It's like, drop this please. And it's like, there's nothing to drop, Dave. So anyway, um, it's the same idea as what we did last time. Basically, what you want to do when you run this, you have to, and, and this, oh, and by the way, you might be wondering, why wouldn't you just do the select into, and then the select from, and then at the bottom, just put the drop table, because you know it's there. You know it's there because you just created it. Why would you ever put it before this? The only reason you might do this is if you had a really ug ugly, really long, really horrible chunk of code with lots of logic, like in a stored procedure, maybe, you might have a scenario where by the time you get to like maybe the bottom of it, you might be recreating this table, but you don't know if with other logic it was already created beforehand and is already in use, or if it exists, or, you know, something like that. So just we'll say some kind of Twilight Zone situation is going on, some kind of sci-fi, who knows. But just if you need to kill it beforehand, if it exists, and you want to just kind of tap it on the shoulder and like phaser it away, then this is how you would do it. It's set, it's set up exactly the way, oh, and by the way, um, for some reason I got cute and used Mertz instead of Ricardo. Extra 500 points, if you know where that's from. Um, the only difference between this and with the hard table, and this is where you have to be a little careful, we're doing an if exists, we're selecting one, we could select, you know, like I said, Albany or Pluto, it doesn't matter, from, now we're doing sys objects, you know, where the name is Ricardo, and the X type is user table, but notice we have to also say it's coming from the temp database. It's the only only thing that's really different. So now, if I run this, it's only going to drop Junior over here. If um if this is true. Now, by the way, when you're doing an if exists, it'll let you put something on one line. If you were to put logic here and on another line and another line, the 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 funny thing about it that it won't come out and tell you is that it's only going to look at the first line. The only way that you can protect that is again, whoops, and just bear with my OCD that has not been, uh, what do they call it, um, when the doctor says you have it, yeah, that. Okay, so basically I could put 200 lines of code in here now because there's a big in and end. I can say like, you know, drop this, drop that, you know, blow up this, it doesn't matter. But now that I'm doing an if exists, so is there a Ricardo attached to this connection It figures all that out? drop it. Then we move on our, so whether it's there or not, we're good. No errors, no nothing, just nothing but fun in the sun. Then we do our select all this junk and then select star and then there's already uh, there we go. We can do this all day. Except uh, Let's try this. Maybe we have to make one modification because remember the names are slightly different. There we go. And then we can do this all day. So that's that's the one last thing that you would have to do, just where the name is like that. You could run into a problem if there is more than one um, in that table because it, it may not separate out which connection you're in and you might want to do something a little more elaborate. But basically, you, you can in fact do if exists and then drop table with a temp table and get it to work the way that you need it to. The only thing that you have to remember is you would only do that if there was weird logic where it may have been created ahead of time, way up top somewhere, and then down when you're down here, you may or may not know if it's in existence and you need to replace it anyway. So to avoid a, a runtime error, that's what you would do. Um, otherwise, just when you're done, put the, put the drop table at the end if it's in a loop and you have to keep reusing it in the same stored procedure.